Two limitations to creating a gradient bar chart like this is that by using a line, you can't control the size and you can only pick two colors for the gradients. This new method allows you to control the size and spacing, and you can pick as many colors as you want for the gradients. First, I'll create the structure of the bar chart by moving categories into the columns and the sum of the sales revenue into the rows. Instead of typing a value into the columns, I'm gonna create a calculated field and I'll call this the X axis and put the number two in it. I'm using the number two so I can control the spacing between the bars. I'll bring this calculated field into the columns and I'll right click and make it a dimension. Now we can see where it's hitting the axis. To add the gradients, go to the Map tab, Background Images, and select the data source. Add an image, and I created this from Canva, but you can create any pattern or background image you want. And for the X axis, I'm gonna set it between negative one and one. For the sales revenue, I'll set it between zero and 14,000 because that's the height of our axis currently. Under options, I like to uncheck the lock aspect ratio. To get the bars to be in the middle, I'm gonna edit the axis. If I create a fixed start at negative one and a fixed end at one, you can see that they're gonna be taking the entire axis. So I'm gonna change it to negative two and positive two. This way there's spacing between the bars. But you can see the bars that are gradient are not the same height as our bars that represent the sum of the sales revenue. To bring our gradient bars to the correct level, I'll go to the analytics tab, choose a reference line, and drag it over the cell for the sum of the sales amount. In the settings, I wanna choose the sum, and I don't want any tooltip or any line. And for the fill above, I'll change it to my background color, which is white. Now you can see they're at the same height, except this third bar. So I'm gonna go back to map, background images, and click on the data source. And I'm going to move the threshold for the top to be a little bit higher for the sales revenue. And lastly, I'm gonna use the color in the marks to change the opacity of our blue bars to be 0%. That way we're left with just the gradient bars.